Hey, what's up guys? It is Gina from Team Lagspark and welcome back to Kirby Dreamland 3. In the last episode, we did some garbage missions with Pitch, and this time we're gonna finish off World 2, so that means finishing off 2 6 and uh, beating the boss. So, uh, let's get into it. Oh gosh, we've got a decision already Nago, Pitch, and Rick. Pitch, <laughs> Yeah, nope. Nago every time. Pitch, why do you look so angry? Obviously not going to choose you, you're just garbage. Also, I know I've shown it off before, but Nago with Rock is pretty funny. Oh gosh, that cutter came out of nowhere. Also something I should point out is those uh, little... Um, I don't know what they are, are they elves? I don't know, they normally give you bomb in other games, but I guess bomb didn't exist back in 97 when they decided to make this game. So anyway, I picked up Cutter, because Cutter's cool, uh, even though it awkwardly aims upwards at an angle, which is very strange, but, you know, it's a thing. Alright, top or bottom? Got a, um... A guessing maze, alright, top, middle, or bottom? Now let's go bottom. It's not really uh, much of a puzzle for me since I've already done this. But, yeah, if you hit a dare and there's a door and then you've got to run all the way back, it's kind of annoying. So it's good to just remember it. So, uh,. Here we are for the heart star condition. Should I? I think I should go in the. Yeah. Alright. So, we've got these blocks. Right. It just looks. Oh, shit. Rip. Well, there goes Nago. So, the blocks. It's basically telling us to make this weird plus thing for this weird jigsaw puzzle piece. So, we're gonna do some uh, underwater arts and crafts stuff. And. We're gonna we're gonna create our own weird plus jigsaw puzzle piece. Was really <laughs> like that could ruin it just like that because when you're underwater and you don't have a power up, you blow bubbles and yeah. If you hold the button for too long, it's kind of annoying. So I'm just quick tapping as much as I can, but it's pretty easy. Seeing you get a really high pitched sound. When you know you're done, but don't go back into the room with the jigsaw because then you have to do that again. And I found that out the hard way. Anyway, this level is pretty simple. This will probably be a more shorter episode, like less than 8 minutes probably, because it's just 2 6 and uh, the boss. So let's see, we've got Koo, which is nice because Koo can fly. And we've got a large vertical section here, which I don't really feel like doing. I don't know about you guys, but it's, it's kind of just nice to just maybe fly up here. And how easy was that? Just dash past all the, I don't know what they are, are they coconuts? Anyway. Whatever the heck this thing is, a weird jigsaw puzzle piece, is happy that we, I don't know, created itself. Oh, what do I want? I want health. Let's see. Easy maximum tomato. Alright, so that... That's all the heart stars collected for level 2. So, now we're going up against Acro, who is the coolest looking boss in my opinion. It's an walker that's running on its tail. Well, I have Koo with the Parasol power-up, so I guess I'm going to use it. You have a couple of invincibility frames, and I'm doing it. Wow, I'm getting bodied. Wow. Alright, so... Uh, I... I'm almost dead. Just, just, yeah, just hit him once. Nope, that didn't work. Alright, so... I don't want to go down there, but I mean... Alright, game. So now I've got Koo Parasol underwater. Oh gosh, that is absolute rubbish. Alright, so I'm just gonna just power up and Koo. 
Acro, Acro is a pretty easy boss. I say that, and I'm only on two hits from dying, so we'll see. Acro is pretty low, though. Yeah. Oh gosh, I didn't see that anchor. Alright, so, you know, two hits, and we'll have finished World 2. Yeah, like I said, Acro is not very hard boss. Just hit this rock. Or it'll hit me. Thanks, hitboxes. Alright, well, we died to Acro, the easy boss. Oh well, at least we don't have Coup and Parasol now, so we won't take stupid hits at the start by just trying to YOLO it off uh, invincibility frames. I don't know why Acro went straight, well, why Acro didn't go straight to the underwater fight, because, I mean, it's pretty easy. I don't know about you, but whales don't do... Like, whoa, Acro, why are you so close to the left side of the screen? So, I don't know what the heck Acro is doing. It's... He charges into a wall, and he spits out anchors, skulls, and baby Acros. This is a very strange boss fight. To be fair, if you think this is a strange boss fight, the boss fight in both three, I believe it is, isn't even really a fight. But anyway, that's Acro down, and you know, just like last time when we beat Wispy Woods, we collected all of the hard stars and we get this nice little sort of in-game cutscene where we get rid of all the evilness, I guess. Still don't know what's going on here. Man, the flashing screens are hurting my eyes. Alrighty, we can dance in water, oh yeah. Sort of just a doggy paddle around in a circle. Alrighty, so that, that's level 2 Ripplefield done. So, uh, I'm going to cut it here and we're going to start level 3 in the next episode. So, thanks for watching, I uh, hope you enjoyed and we hope to see you next time.